Hey everybody, Scott and Peg, it's April 14th and we got this uh, tree that the tree fellers toppled over yesterday and then immediately were consumed with bees and everybody got all stung up and so they called us in an emergency and we're gonna have to try to get them out of here for them. Great many bees. You can see it's real active, they're real confused, poor darlings. And uh, you know when this happens, when they drop a tree like that, all that comb is probably smashed together inside the tree and um, you know quite possibly the queen's been killed. But we'll start cutting on it and uh, see if we can't find her, see if we can't bring him back to life here. But it's a great big old tree. And evidently they've been there quite a while. So let's see what happens. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first uh, vacuum off these bearding bees here into our catch box. Uh, just so that when we go cutting on the tree we don't have quite so many bees to, to mess with. Uh, they've been through quite a trauma here and they probably have an attitude so uh, we don't want to make them any, any meaner than they have to be and we want to get the, a lot of the field force out of the way. Okay, here Peggy's got a bunch of them vacuumed up. There's, they're still coming and going, and uh, boiling out of the opening there. But we're going to go ahead and start cutting on the tree. Now they've got a second entrance. It's down here. So I'm going to cut just this side of it and hope that's the bottom of it, and then we can look up in the log and and see how large the colony is. Peggy, you want to keep vacuuming while I'm cutting? Okay, go ahead and fire it back up and I'll see about getting this going.
good team for my fans to win, okay? You happy? Kind of hard to tell on the film, I think. Yeah, coming a little closer. Now you can see them in there, just a little more, right there. Now you can see them all in that box okay. because you're getting light on the one side. All right. Okay, so we're we're gonna start transferring the brood comb into this box. You see, I've got a little snap-on screen bottom I can put on there uh, so that they don't overheat when we're traveling down the road with them. We're only going to take the comb that has brood in it. Um, we're going to take the honey, honey and we're going to put it in a bucket. We'll extract that and feed it back to the bees later. That way we cut down on the possibility of a small hive beetle takeover. You ready? Okay, to show you the hive beetles. I don't know if you can see them. There's a Oh, there's probably 30 or 40 of them on, just on this one little piece. So I'm hoping we can save them. There's a little bit of brood in here, but it looks like it's pretty well damaged, so this piece I'm not going to keep. Okay, here's what we've got. We've opened it up. We've got, hard to tell with the sawdust, but there's uh, six or seven different layers of comb. Of course, there's no bee space left anymore from, uh, from hitting the ground. And we've opened up about two and a half feet. And we've got a lot of sawdust all over it. And we got but some it, it, it still keeps going up in there. Oh, probably another good eight or ten inches at least. But we'll start. We'll start working on this section. I'll cut and you, yeah. you rubber band them in the frames. That still goes back in there, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, at least eight or ten inches that I can see. Oh, okay. Well, I'll probably... I might be over there if I do. Do you have water or is it pinched? No, I got it. Okay, about 4,000 bees to a pound. And it's about 80 pounds. Yeah, look at all that nectar. Do the math. Ooh. That's some good stuff. Do you need a bucket? That's what I was trying to ask them if they would mind, please.
Okay, we about got everything out. Just a couple little bits of comb left. Uh, let's see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine combs that were stacked in here. And unfortunately, when the tree hit the ground, it smashed everything. It knocked all the larva out of the comb. And uh, it, there's nothing that we could take. Uh, it would just be a small hive beetle feast. So we vacuumed up all the bees uh, that we've come to so far. And we've got up in the tree, we still have that eight or ten inches of, of comb that we gotta get out of there. So I'll make one more cut, open up the tree a little bit more. And we'll, uh, we'll take these bees home. We'll go through them tomorrow and hopefully we've got a queen in the box someplace. And if not, we'll, uh, we'll give them a new queen and see how well they do. I hope we got the queen. I'd like to have the genetics. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you later.